Hey guys, I'm back with another game called Black Closet. Now this game is made by Hanako Games, the creator of Long Live the Queen, and since I know a few of you enjoyed that game, I thought I'd try out this one. So, uh, let's go into it. Ooh, Miss Talmadge. Welcome to your new office, Elsa, and congratulations. As student council president, everyone here, everything here belongs to you. For now. Um, th thank you. We'll be fine. I'm afraid you may have little time to relax and enjoy it. See, this is an all-girls school, and we are going to solve procedurally generated, um, not crime? Well, maybe crimes, but, like, different things. Detective stuff. So, the privileges of your position come with a great deal of responsibility. It is your duty to manage the student body and prevent scandals while maintaining their belief in your good nature. Oh, good. If you're too aggressive, then the karma of the student council will be damaged, and your classmates will no longer obey you. If you let them get away with everything, then the reputation of the school will be damaged. Ah. Um, let's see. I look forward to a challenge cocky, aren't you? I hope your strength holds up to what's ahead. Alright, Miss Talmadge, I'll try. No nice words here, Elsa. This school is in peril. We have enemies who would like nothing more than to smash this ivory tower to rubble, and scandal is their greatest weapon. If St. Claudine's fails, every graduate, every board member, every good traditional family will be tarnished. The school board will do whatever they must to defend themselves. Alright. As student council president, you are their designated scapegoat. Your family background? You are not old power. You are a talented upstart, nothing more. If disaster looms, you are a perfect sacrifice for their greater good. Well, I'm glad you're just coming out and telling me this and I don't have to learn it later. Uh, do, do, do. No, that won't work. Um, I won't go down without a fight. Put that energy into doing your job. If you maintain the reputation of Sa Claudine's, there will be no need for a sacrifice. Fail as president and you will be expelled, unable to achieve a place in a decent university. Your future will be ruined before it even begins, but keep things running smoothly and your time at St. Claudine's will be a benefit to your resume. Of course, you will have the rest of the student council to assist you. A commander never gets her own hands dirty. You will need to rely on the skills of your minions to handle your caseload and find the truth behind the rumors. So is this like an um, elementary or middle school? Or no, no, it's probably high school, I'd imagine, because um, university. Read your case files to determine targets, then set out assignments for your minions to take actions, where they will match their skills against the skills of the target. Let's look at an example. Alright, first click on Anna to select her as a target. Alright, Anna. Anna's a new target, so you haven't learned what her skills are yet. Her skills will be revealed when you take action against her. Let's question her. So, question. Okay. okay, cool. For this example, I will be playing the part of your minion. Click on my card in the question action, then click assign. Question, assign, cool. Done. Assigned actions are placed in your out tray. If you wish to cancel an assignment, you can click on its position in the out tray to clear the assignment. When you have made your assignments for the day, click done to begin the investigation. So yeah, that's kind of like, uh, long live the queen. So, alright. So, ooh, nice. Uh, so, the D20 sort of situation. Okay. Anna says, hmm, was there something you needed? You may now harass Anna. Well, I don't want to harass people, but maybe I have to. Uh, well, let's figure out what happens. Actions use different skills. You can see what skills will be compared by looking at the icons on the sides of the action buttons. Try choosing the harass action to press Anna a little harder. Alright. Anna. Harass. There we go. Assign. And done. So she she did much better. Okay, Anna squeaks. I'm sorry. I'll get to class right away and scampers off. All right, cool. 
If the skill of the minions you assign is not sufficient to conquer the target, you may get incomplete or misleading reports and need to try again. Check your case log to review the clues you have gathered. Now, for your final instructions, it is important that we are not disturbed. Assign some students to stand guard over this location. You can assign multiple minions to the same task. They will use the best available skill for each situation. In this case, Carolyn's intimidation will combine with Keisha's observation. Okay. So I can select both of them. Click there. And guard. Assign. And done. Ooh, someone tried to get in. Alright, so it's using the best of both of them. So her intimidation's good, and her observation is good. And that was going against the cover and stealth. So, um, okay. Cool. 13, 19. Okay, so those add up to it. So the chance is just the random number that gets added. Okay, cool. Students stand guard outside the office. <laughs> now, let us speak clearly. You are the leader here, but you are helpless without the skills of your minions, and that creates a weakness. A weakness which someone intends to exploit. One of your minions is a traitor. <gasps> okay. Um, let's see, how do you know that? Intercepted communications. Internal documents which are not for a student's eyes, not even yours. One of them is working against you and will intentionally fail her assignments whenever possible in the hopes of causing scandal and bringing down the school. You must determine which of your minions cannot be trusted or she will destroy you. Spend time with them, socialize, do whatever you must. Manage your karma, defend the school's reputation, and identify the traitor, or else your career will come to a quick end. Good luck, Madam President. She leaves the office, your office, a symbol of your power, and of the expectations others have placed upon you. Will you live up to those expectations, or surprise them all? Ooh. Come on, Elsa, let's do this. When you reach the student council office, Vaughn is already waiting for you. Ah, there you are, Elsa. Everything is in order. One of the chairs had a rip in the cushion, so I had maintenance swap it out. All the filing slots are clean, and there's a fresh box of pushpins by the bulletin board. Awesome. Um, very good. Carry on. Aye, Captain. Um... Uh, why are you calling me Captain? You... you don't remember? Captain rolls off the tongue more easily than Madam President, don't you think? There's a sound at the door. That must be the other officers. To tell Elsa that she has to... Oh, you're already here? And what were you going to tell our President? Well, I don't mean to be rude, Vaughn, but all things considered, it's not right that when you are vice president, when my big sister is so much more qualified, I don't want the job. You don't want to be president, that's fine, but you deserve vice, I'm not interested. You're a natural leader, and she has the personality of a secretary. Um, let's see. I'll go, Vaughn was elective, end of story. Oh, fine, be stuck in your dusty old ways. Youth will overcome, you'll see. The door opens again. Uh, hello? Is this the student council room? Alright. Yes, this is the student council. Oh, good, I found the right place. I'm Mallory, I'm the hospitality officer. Oh, right, new girl. Be respectful to this young lady. It's your first year on student council, too. Yes, but I've been at this school since kindergarten, and she just started as a freshman. Well, I think it's lovely to see some new faces. Uh, thanks? Do -do -do. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Mallory. It's nice to meet you, too. I look forward to working with all of you. 
Aren't we missing someone? What about Rowan? She's already here. <laughs> she just doesn't speak. Ah, uh, well then we'll go, well, if we're all here, let's get started. Now that your minions are assembled, it's time to open your case folders and see what this week has in store. Alright, Labor Day. Reminder, suspending a student is a strong punishment. Most guilty parties will break down and apologize after being suspended. If suspension isn't enough to stop bad behavior, only expulsion remains. Alright, well, let's begin the week. Alright, a shipment of supplies has gone missing. Copies of La Petite Prince. If those supplies aren't found by September 15th, the special French lesson will have to be cancelled. Abby, Selena, Adela, and Din are in that class. Do they know anything? Alright, so we don't know these people yet. So, let's go question all of them. So, alright. So she's going to go... Alright, question Selena so we can learn more about that. Sign. Thice will go with a DN. Cool. Vaughn will go for Abby. Mallory for Dila. Sign. And Rowan, what can you do at the French room? Inspect. Alright, what do we need for that? Target is 43. It looks like we need covertness. Let's see the supply closet. Um, well, that might be interesting, but I think we'll go for the French room and inspect that. Okay, so 40, we get an extra 40 for that. So I think we should be fine if we roll higher than a 3. <laughs> Alright, well, let's do it. So we got pretty good success here. Selena so says, Missy School Supplies. Don't know, don't care. Okay, so she looks not to be the person involved. Don't know, don't care. Alright, fair enough. Vaughn, how are we doing here? I don't know what happened to the supplies, but I do not that Dan and Selena were not looking forward to that lesson. Dan and Selena. Oh. Alright. So we need to check Adela again. You find a rectangular outline in the dust on the shelf. With just the right size for the box of supplies. But if it was here earlier, what happened to it? No new information to report. Okay, so we need to check out Adela, and we're going to harass with Thias. Mm, do we want to spend another person on this as well? Yeah, I think, uh, well, that says win only 10%. If we get both of those, one is 100%. 45%. Yeah, we'll go with Mallory as well. Harass. Sign to there. Supply closet. We will send Rowan to do that. Sign. We'll also go investigate some more. Who has good investigations? Yep, that should be fine. We'll have Vaughn go there. And, hmm... I think Deanne was the one that we wanted to, uh, yep, so we'll go there, and we'll check her out. And don't forget, one of our people are not trustworthy, but we'll check and see who can lose or win. Alright, success. Don't you have more productive things to do than harassing people who've done nothing wrong? I don't know, Adela. Have you not done something wrong? We got some candy. Cool. You find a rectangular outline of the dust. Uh, yeah, we know that. Okay, fair enough. I don't know anything about the missing supplies. I was just hoping that they stay missing so we get a free class period. Okay. 
Rowan has just come into my office carrying a large box. Delivery. Um, all right, you can put it over there. She sets the box down carefully and turns to leave. Wait, don't go. Do you need something? Uh, do you know what's in the box? One times bag organic gold Colombian coffee. One classic style French press silver, monogrammed. One tea set gold trim. It's, <laughs> it's good to be the king. Um, I didn't order these. I was told to deliver them to you. Mm, would you like a cup of coffee? Students aren't allowed coffee except to you. What? I'm allowed to get coffee? Alright, never mind then. Goodbye. Fair enough. I don't want to break the rules, you know. Alright, well, let's take a look at our log. Um, friendly chat, confident in skills, Selena denied all knowledge, denied all knowledge. Um, okay. She was confident in her skills. I became suspicion at Dan and Selena. We don't have access to Selena yet, I don't think. Um, hmm. Dan denied all knowledge. Well, this is an interesting conundrum. Um, oh, we, d we haven't repressed Selena yet. Let's harass her then. Alright, that's a 100% going there. We've looked there. We don't have skill points. I guess we could. I don't, I don't want to lose karma, but, uh. Hmm. Who was the person that was trying to. Um, alright, Vaughn, Abby, so we'll press Abby again, oh, question Abby again, let's see, question Let's see here. <clears throat> Don't have, all right. Well, we'll go send those two to question her to make sure she doesn't know something. Or actually, we'll go harass her. Um. Hundred percent one chance. Now, what can we do? We can assign these people to go get more stuff, or do we want to try and question some more? All right. Well, let's. Well, I don't know if they'll know anything. Is my problem. So let's uh, go get some items. Let's uh, not do too many girls then. Let's uh, get Rowan since uh, she doesn't have too many things. Um, I guess we'll question both of these people again. Yeah. Question, see what we can get out of this. Alright, so Lena and Selena. Alright, I don't know anything about the missing supplies. I just enjoy watching you people screw up. This is suspicious. You may now detain Selena. You may now search Selena's room. Okay, so we got some more out of this. Awesome. Okay, let's check Abby. Okay, I think I saw Selena sneak into the classroom after hours when the box went missing, but I don't know if she really did anything. Alright, cool. So did we get- ooh, we got some white gloves. Awesome. So we're gonna lose this. We need to be careful with Vaughn, because I think she should have- 
Yeah, she should have had 40 there. Or she maybe she did. 6073. It was too close to call. Vaughn is uh we'll, we'll see. Don't know if I can trust Vaughn and Mallory. Mallory has requested a private meeting. Ah, uh, hi. Thank you for seeing me. All right, I'm always happy to talk with my officers. Of course you are, because you're good, and you're the president, and student council does good things, right? Um, we do, we act, we do what I think is, we'll do, we act for the greater good. Okay, good. I just, this isn't what I was expecting. Okay. I thought it was really nice of everyone to make me their representative when I'd only just started at this school. I was looking forward to helping people. Not to being a bully. Aww. Alright, we are harsh with them for their own protection. Well, yes, but I mean, sometimes... I'm sorry, I'm overreacting. I just never imagined myself on the side of people giving out discipline. It's, it's like being a parent, isn't it? I promise I'll do my best. Now that she's made her point, there is business at hand. All right, Mallory seems a little bit suspicious. So we're going to send Mallory to the supply closet for right now. See how she does there. We're going to go search uh, Selena's room. So this person should get a 100% win chance there. Perfect. Now, let me get detain her. Okay. Have that person do the detaining. Vaughn, we're a little suspect with at the moment. Hmm. We'll have her question. Or no, we. Who do we want to question again? Let's see. Hmm. So, Dan and Adela were the people. Um, hmm. Let's see if Dan, Dan denied all knowledge. Okay. Who was the person's person. Okay, Selena was suspiciously defiant. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, well, let's try Dan again. Yeah, we'll do both of those. Question, sign, perfect. Done. Yeah, lemons aren't good. You're not helping your argument. Okay. Did we find anything? You quietly search Selena's room. You find a wad of used parcel tape and a, the shredded remains of a packing slip. The box was here, but where is it now? Okay, Selena cracks under pressure. She promises to never tell anyone that she destroyed the supplies and never do it again. Uh, Council gains five karma. Missing Zool supplies don't know, don't care. Okay, fair enough. Since the supplies have been destroyed, the lesson has to be canceled, but at least nothing worse happened. The school loses one reputation. All right, we did it guys. All right, not too shabby, not too shabby. Got three skill training points. Uh, Althana is absent due to stress. Thais is absent due to stress. Vaughn is absent due to stress. Everyone's stressed out. Okay, fair enough. So I guess I can't do anything for right now. In base, nothing wants to go right. Take off. Alright. Um. Hmm. 
Let's see what that says real quick again. You cannot assign items to perform tasks by themselves. Well, actually, you can, but they aren't going to bother to do anything unless she's some someone along to supervise. Yep, let's uh, do that. That's what we want to do. Okay, training room. Train. Sign. Alright, I guess we're done then. Go ahead, skip this day, because everyone's on break. Oh, let's go visit someone. Let's see. Two unclear, one unclear, three successes. Oh, man. It's hard to figure out. Okay, well, let's visit Mallory then. Oh, uh, hi. How are you? Are you having a good weekend? Um, I've come to invite you to tea. A tea party? Do I need to dress up? Should I wear a hat? Um, you look perfect just as you are. Thank you. You look very nice too. Okay, I'm coming. After you. Mallory tags along behind you to the student council office and waits while you open the door. It's so quiet in here. <coughs> uh, tea or coffee? Is coffee allowed? I thought we were having English tea. Well, I want to try tea anyway. I'll take whatever you suggest. You prepare the drinks and set out the gold-rimmed teacups. Mmm. All right, well, let's uh, offer some shortbread, I guess. Are these special British cookies? Cool. Mallory picks up the teacup and takes a careful sip. Huh? Um, did you, do you like it? I'm not sure yet. It's very different. Thank you be, for preparing this for me. I know you must be very busy being president and all. It's a big change coming to a school like this, but everyone's been really nice to me. Hmm. Let's see. Are you getting along with your roommate? Huh? Sure. Megan's nice. She was the one who suggested I should run for student council. I didn't really think I'd get in. Hmm. Do you regret joining student council? Or, well, you talked to me about that. How do you feel about the other members? You mean Thias? It's fine. I've known girls like her before. She doesn't bother me. I'm sure we can be friends. It's important for everyone to get along since we all have to live together. I... Doesn't it drive you crazy sometimes not being able to go out or have a room to yourself? Um... We can go out on weekends. Only if we write down where we're going and who we're going with. It seems a little perturbed. And if anybody stays out too long, they'll send out the search parties. Well, I guess we are the search parties, aren't we? Yep, that's true. Don't worry, I'm not planning on running away or anything silly like that. I'm just a little restless. Hmm. Um, are you homesick? A little bit? But I know that there's people like you here that I can count on. Mari looks up at the clock. Um, thank you for the tea, but if it's okay, I should probably go. Maybe we can do something again another weekend? Hmm. I'll see you again soon. Bye! Alright, Mallory's loyalty increases by five. Alright, so we get to visit someone else. Mallory seems fine, at least in that encounter. Um, let's take a look at Vaughn, then. Elsa, hi. Did you need something? Um, I've come to invite you to tea. Oh, alright. Thank you. That sounds lovely. Vaughn follows you to your office, looking back and forth as she enters. I wasn't sure if anyone else would be here. Um, tea or coffee? Really? I can take care of that. You should sit. I'll prepare the tea. Um, you are my guest. And you are my captain. I am your subordinate. It's my job to make your life run smoothly so that you can focus on business without having to worry about the details. Um, even subordinates get time off. This was meant to be... 
My apologies. If this is an official business, then I defer to you as a hostess. Tea would be lovely. Thank you. You prepare the drinks and set out the gold-rimmed teacups. Well, let's offer shortbread again. Ooh, I do like these. Thank you. Vaughn sips from her cups and smiles at you. So here we are. It's nice to have a chance to sit and relax between crises. Crises, rather. But there's something on your mind, isn't there? Hmm. Is everything alright? Me? Is that what this is about? Do I seem unhappy to you? Hmm. You look... You look lonely sometimes. Do I? Well, maybe I am. But I know where my duties lie. Vaughn rests her fingers on the edge of the table. This is a strange tea party, isn't it? I suppose we should talk about hats, or hairdressing, or politics. All similarly frivolous. Hmm. Why are you planning- what are you planning to do after university? Don't you know? I'm going to be a doctor. At least that's a start. Beyond that, I'll have to see. She sets down her teacup. I really should go. I need to study. Thank you for your time, and the tea. Thank you for coming. Alright, Vaughn's loyalty increased by five as well. Reminder, if there are five items in your supply tray, you cannot visit the supply closet again until you use up one of those items on a task. Well, let's save the game. Awesome. Come on, how do I... How do I... Oh, there we go. Save. Perfect. Save it is. Perfect. Alright, return to game. Fair greetings to you, lad. It's nice to see a cool view of where we are, or where we were, right in there. So let's sell that. Sell those. Move this right over there. Once you're crowned queen, I can't stop you from doing anything you want. But for now, you are still a child.